Hi there, Frank here for premium members for the trading day of September the 12th, 2024, a Thursday. What is probably, as far as I remember, one of the most important events this year, what happened today, look at this T-Rex of a price rejection. And actually, we pretty much expected it humbly and quietly, but this is exactly what happened. So check this out. We have the one hour on the ES, but more importantly, the action on the daily chart is just starting. So practically, we have closed above this midline that we identified. And uh, where and how you want to get engaged with this market is really a matter of decision. But I think this market will test the highs. The NQ, let's have a look. Here we go, same situation. We can get rid of this. It's not really, doesn't really matter. This market, I think, will be testing the highs pretty soon. And make a plan. If you want to wait for a pullback on the four hour chart, that's a good plan. Just remember, there's no guarantee uh, we're gonna get the pullback here. This market might just run away. Now there's a beautiful bull flag on the YM which was actually on our chart so far, but this bottom tail is just beautiful. This is what we want to see. And if you want to think of the RTY, it's definitely a little different structure, but the bottom tail points towards a move to the upside, at least to the upper area here of this wedge and perhaps the upper Keltner. And uh, currencies, you see the contracts are rolling over in one day. So I'm not really keen on starting new contracts here. I don't mind waiting a day or two, especially since most likely we'll have things to do on the indexes. Now let's move on to precious metals. Gold, I think, is well set up for a move to the upside. There's several days of consolidation, but no selling. And we have some subtle price action here on smaller charts that point towards a move to the upside, but always wait for a trigger. So no trigger, no trade. Same thing on the SI. Here we go. We need a trigger. Probably I would wait for silver for new trades, that is, to give us a pullback after touching the Keltner. Treasuries, of course. I wonder what's going to happen to the treasuries. They have bullish setups, even long positions in progress, but with the Indexes potentially stampeding to the upside. This might uh, take a break here. So if you're in positions, definitely manage them. Try to break even so it becomes risk-free. For new positions, wait for new setups, I would say. But if you're thinking long-term, then don't forget that the weekly is giving us a beautiful long structure here on treasuries, the 30-year, but the others look very similar. And that might take weeks, maybe a month or two for the rest of the year. This is a good long if you're thinking long term. Otherwise, I think the most immediate job is definitely on the indexes in, in the next couple of days. And last but not least, a couple of things on agriculturals. Let's start with wheat. Here we go. A long setup on the daily might get going any minute. Look at the four hour chart. And the other one we looked at was OZO which didn't give us the pullback that we expected. It's just moving forward. But if you're long here, then you practically got the one R here. And this probably will be testing the 420 or at least the 400-ish area soon. So this is what we're dealing with. Really major events on the indexes. I haven't seen such obvious price rejection or dramatic rather price rejection in a long, long time. Okay, so we'll be back in the morning. We'll take it from there. And until then, mindful trading.